Things. Kind of like the MILF things. Do you? Yeah, that's kind of what I'm like. Yeah. You know, like the okay. mums, the Susans and that. Yeah, that's, that's, careful, that's, that's my mum's name. Take the glasses off. I can't do that, bruv. No? No, bruv. I'm yeah. wanted in Czechoslovakia, bruv. Yeah. So I can't okay. do that to you. I think this fight will be over inside six rounds. I really six believe AJ's going to knock him out. Because I'm about to take my universal credit money. Put it on. That damn man come with a bag of chat, not me, I put it in motion. Came back, wrestle fools. Carty's got their open. Can't wipe them in some... Big man thing, yes, Castillo, aka the main event. Now there's three things I love in life. Money, gal, and boxing. Now this is my new show, bruv. The main event with the main event. I'm gonna take you on a journey, bruv. Big man thing. I have 350 million pounds, bruv, on the Uber boat. I need some money, bruv. I need money right now. Big man thing, yeah. I'm in London Bridge right now. Look at the views and that. Get me, I just jumped off my little private yacht thing. You get me, big boy things. Yeah? Later on, bruv, I got a meeting, yeah, with a man himself, Mr. Eddie Hearn, bruv. So that's where I'm going today, bruv. Talk about money, life, love, all of that, bruv. I am Eddie Hearn, the world's number one boxing promoter. I'm a simple person. I'm not particularly bright. I'm a great talker. I'm a good salesman. I outwork everybody. I'm number one in the game. We're in some mad building right now. It looks like some big boy Illuminati building right now, bruv. With bear these photos on the ting, bruv. You've got Miss Doubtfire on there. She's looking nice though, you get me? Them, them old things, you get me? Them nice milk things, kind of nice still. I'm surrounded by money right here, bruv. You get me? A lot of money in this room. Man, them, you'll never see this place, bruv. So, Eddie, what are you expecting from this interview with Castillo? I have absolutely no idea. What is ID Boxing? As it was Rob Tebbett, now you're telling me it's Castillo. Is, is, is Castillo Rob Tebbett's new name? I don't know. Who is Castillo? Now, I'm gonna be going in depth with Eddie Hearn, bruv. I wanna know about the car he drives, you get me, what kind of gal he likes, his money, bruv. I'm trying to see what's in his bank account, bruv, all of that. Why do you love boxing? I love boxing because it's the purest sport of all. From grassroots level, it teaches you everything and all the fundamentals you need in life. Discipline, respect, manners, good for your physical health, good for your mental health. On a professional level, it can change lives, provides so much entertainment and drama, edge of the seat stuff. For me, the greatest sport of all. Today's episode, I'm gonna be finding out about AJ and Usyk 2, Jake Paul and KSI, Tyson Fury, Connor Ben and Chris Eubank Jr. Bruv, it's about to be a madness. What's happening? Yo, well gone, Eddie. You don't look like Rob Tebbett. I look better than that. Yeah, you man. do, actually. Well gone, Eddie. Yo, good to see you. Well my brother. You yeah. right? You're looking good, man. Always. You're looking good. Not as good as you. Nah, man. Oh, you said that to You've me. You've got the yeah. same tattoos as Connor Ben. Big man. Oh, I look better than him, though, I think. Mm. I'm telling you, I look a bit better yeah? than him. Come okay. on, man. It's the grill. Do you, know what? do you know what it is? Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you, yeah? I didn't realise that you was this big in real life. I know. You're kind Everyone of says it. You know you... why? Because I'm always next to AJ. And he makes me look like a midget. You're kind yeah. of throwing me off right That's now. The I thought one I could thing come people come to me start pointing at me, going, "You're massive, you are." So thank you. I thought I could come in and talk a lot of shit here, yeah. but you're big as hell. Yeah, I can't fight though. You're safe, don't worry. So look, yeah, you've been around a lot of fighters, mm. a lot of men, yeah. So you can size a lot of people up, yeah. So sizing me up, mm -hmm. yeah. Do you think I could be a fighter? Let me take the glasses off. I can't do that, bro. No? I'm wanted. I need a lot to of see places, the, the windows to the soul. Nah, bro. I'm wanted in Czechoslovakia, bro. Yeah. So I can't okay, do that to you okay. right now, bro. But I don't know. looking at I me right now, bro. I mean, look think? in the you know in the YouTube world, in that kind of world, I think anybody can fight. So I think if you haven't gone down that route yet, we should talk. You know, there's a big market out there at the moment. So Weight wise, feel, what, feel, what are you weighing at the moment? I think I'm like 11 stone, bro. Yeah. Okay. So you're like light middleweight. Mm. Okay. So you, so if you was to match me up with someone, who would you match me up with? Mm, what's Deji way? De, I, I, you know, that's KSI in it. Yeah, he's, Big he's, up he's KSI. his brother. Yeah, it's his brother. Maybe you know his brother. So you're not Deji. putting me in with the, I'm in the main yeah, event. Too man. heavy, too yeah. heavy. You're 11 stone. We've got to bulk you up, you're and it's bulking season. But you're Mind you, if you when you weigh him, will you keep the teeth in? Or no, not? but you're trying to put me with one of the side man guys, bro. I'm trying to you, be you KSI. Yeah, I want the okay. main guy. Well, I'm the main event. Sometimes you gotta go through those guys to get to the main man. You want to go straight to? Yeah, I want to. I want to leapfrog that like a Mae Khan after the Olympics. Just get straight there, bro. Straight to the money. Yeah. Now listen, yeah. I know you just came from Antigua. Mm. How was Antigua? It was nice. It was nice. Yeah, it's uh, got a little place over there, so I mm. spend a lot of time over there and uh, enjoyed it. Now I've got to ask you something, though. Yeah, this this is just for me. Mm. Yeah. What's the girl saying over there? 
Well, it's one for you, mate. You know, I mean, mm. I think you do very well over you there. You think I clean up? I think, you know, I think you're versatile. Mm. I think you can appeal to many different markets. Don't know, London, don't know. Antigua. I'm kind of feeling like the milf things. You, might, I don't know, yeah, you wonder what milf I kind of like the milf things. Do you? Okay. Yeah, I like, I like, that's kind of like my category Is on the website. It's your market. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm like. Yeah? You know, like the okay. mums, the Susans and that. Yeah, that's that's, careful. That's, that's my mum's name. Big Man Ting. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> Salute to Susan, bro. <laughs> Dunno. Careful. Big Man Ting. Yeah, you lose those two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, Eddie, we could have a match we together could. now. Do a yeah, lot of guys. Big Man Ting. Too heavy for you. So, this is what I've got to ask you. I've got to ask you this for sure. I like. I love your outfit. I love the style. Thank You're you. like the best dressed man in boxing. Thank you. Yeah, when you look at some of the other men, they look a bit crazy. Mm. Like Leonard Ellaby. Oh, terrible. With a mad, with a mad swag. Yeah, You're, winning in, that. You're winning in that category. Yeah. So, listen to this. Yeah. So, it's one of my ops' funeral next week. Right. Yeah. He's been causing me a lot of aggro, mm -hmm. but now he's gone. And I'm, I'm, I'm very happy about that. Mm -hmm. So, if I had to get a suit, what would you say would be the best suit that I could get? I think that suits are a little... For you, I'm not sure about you in a suit. I'm an all-black kind of suit kind of yeah, guy. Yeah, but I don't know. I, I, I think maybe just wear that. Nah, that's you know? a bit mad, though. Yeah, but I just think it's different. I don't think you would look right in a suit. You'd be one of those uncomfortable guys, you know, always touching the collar, like, mm. doing this, doing this. I think you just got to be yourself. You I, know? Think, I think, like, I'm trying to get one of these. I think a like, tux. A tux. For you. Mm. Black tie, bow tie, nice dinner shirt. Nice fitted black suit, shiny kind of looking suits like Malcolm a X bit. kind of thing. Yes, I like that. I like that. See, I like that, Eddie. Mm. So you just you just gave me you just gave me some game there right now, yeah. Now I know I know you probably know who I am. I'm the main event. You get me? I'm the big deal. You get me? I'm I was only joking earlier. Big man, course, I, I know you. Yeah, know, I'm a big man, fan. Big man, too. Come fan. on, yeah. But you already know. Not only am I a big boy rapper, yeah. I also give relationship advice. Okay. Yeah. Now. You look like a man. I know you're in a relationship. You're married and all that stuff. Salute. But back in the day, I know you was cleaning up, Eddie. I could tell. I could see in your face that you was doing a mad thing. Yeah. So, the guys to me they write questions and I give them advice. So they've written some advice for you to give. I want you to give them some advice. Yeah. Yeah. So look. So this is what the guy said. He said, "Yo, Castillo, I've been chatting to this girl for two weeks and spent pretty much every day with her. Monday night she went out of her with her friend and they went back to a lad's apartment. Said nothing happened, but don't know." What should I do? Done. What you Over. Mean? Why? Over. What do you think she was doing in that well, apartment? It doesn't matter what she was doing in that apartment. Hmm. But what do you that. think she was because doing Because you know, in what you got to understand is, it's not one rule for you and one rule for someone else. Mm. How would it be if on the shoe was on the other foot, yeah, went to a club, went back to a girl's apartment, nothing happened. Can you imagine the aggravation? Mm. So you would say... Out. So you think she was taking a lot of willy and does it? I'm not saying what she was doing, Big but even team. if she wasn't, out. She was moving mad. So big man ting, bruv, your girl's out here taking out a willy, Fuck. bruv. So big man ting, I got another one for you, Eddie, yeah? So yo, bro, a few days ago, my girl went on holiday, and ever since, she's been giving slow replies. She voice noted me, and I heard a lot of other boys in the background. What should I do? This, you know, this, this reminds me of being a young, young man. You know, like, mm. you're... And, and I can look at this with a little bit more experience now. It's a problem. What do you mean? It's a problem. Little signs. You know, you know when you make the phone call, mm. they don't pick up, and you go, the call's coming back in 30 seconds because she's leaving the club, or she's coming out the beach club, she's going around the corner into mm. the quiet to make the noise. The little voice note, it's a bit. It's mad. like I'm not going to call him. I'm going to use the voice note. Yeah. See Eddie, you see, um, see, he knows about this stuff. I'm so old, big man. So big man thing, brev. Right now, your girl's face is in a pillow. Right now, in the travel lodge, and a lot's happening right now, brev. So. Big man ting, it's over, bruv. Cut it off. It's dead. Yeah? Big man ting. So this is what I've got to ask you. I've written some icebreaker questions for you. Okay. Yeah? Now this one, I like to help out the men. I like to give men relationship advice so they don't grow up and do a madness. You get what I'm trying to say? We're trying to save them right now. So here's the, here's some icebreaker questions, Eddie, about relationships, single life and all that for the man them. So here you go, yeah? So back when you were single, mm. what was your best chat up line? There's some rascals out there, wasn't it? Do you know what? I never really, I never really went down that line with. I mean, there was all kinds of terrible ones, weren't there? Mm, go on, give like, me an example. You know, was your dad a thief? Huh? Someone that's a bit stole. Much. <laughs> someone stole the stars from the skies and put them in your eyes. Yeah, that's you know what I mean, I don't like all that stuff. I think it's, I think it's terrible. I mean, what girl in her right mind is going to listen to a cheesy chat line? I think nowadays that don't work, man. You've got to or you money. could go up to her friend mm. if you want a little bit of banter. And be a bit cheeky and say, you're any good at dancing? She'll go, yeah, I'm actually. You go, go on, and off you go, because I want to talk to your mate. Big man, see, Eddie, you've you know? got the bars. I yeah, like that, you. I like that. Thank but you, you see, these days, the gal are moving a bit different now. Now you just got to pull out the money, bruv. Show the car. 
You've got to show them Conor Ben's car. Yeah, That's exactly. what you've got to do. Exactly. And then instantly, it's a Nani magnet, bro. I'm not going to lie. Even, this is the maddest thing. I looked at that car and even I was kind of like, yo, I might have to be on some LGBT thing right now, bro. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, bro. The car was looking healthy. It's a nice car. Yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to be a respected gentleman yet. You get, I'm trying to be a You're savage. You're not there yet. No, no, not yet. No. Yeah, I feel like... I feel like right now you inspire me. How old are you? Me, don't worry, bruv. Big Man Ting, that's tough out now yeah. on all digital platforms. Big Man Ting, salute to that. What I would say though, Eddie, yeah, like literally right now, this stage in my life, I'm really just about getting money and a lot of nani, bruv. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just being real. I feel like okay. if I commit to something, it's going to be a lot of cheating. Mm. You know what I mean? And I've done a lot of cheating. Go and live yeah? your life, mate. Of course. Now, like, you see the things, you said the worst first date you've had. So do you know the worst? Actually, I've had a best first date. What's your best first date? Best. It doesn't have to be a, like just something notable. Oh, go on, tell me yours. My, tell you know, me your my, worst one. My worst one. Well, I was chatting to this girl on Facebook. Yeah, I was meeting a lot of girls on Facebook, bruv. Yeah. Then like I, I didn't realize like I should have looked through the pictures a bit, a bit more. You get what I'm trying to say? I should have mm. scrolled through the profile pictures a bit more. The filters are diff- difficult these days. Yeah, bruv. And I got there, and she was just like built like a snowman, bruv. I'm not gonna lie to you, bruv. It was like. It was looking a bit mad, and then like I didn't, know, I couldn't really exit, I couldn't really exit the thing because we was already in Nando's. Yeah, then I thought, let me just order my food quickly. Nobody's gonna see me and eat it real quick. But then like about five of my guys walked in and they saw me with her, and I was like, yo, I finished that meal in about two minutes, Eddie. <laughs> two minutes. Yeah. What about your best one? Mm, actually, let me finish that. You see that one that 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 was first day. I still, I still, I still went there though. I still went there. I kind of like, I like big things, Eddie. I like really right, big. Okay. I'm telling you, it's my category. So. What should the man them look for when choosing the right partner? What should a guy look for? You've got to look beyond those things you were looking at on Facebook. What the back off and the, and the I'm talking about the BBLs, I'm talking about that? happiness. I'm talking about energy mm. being the most important thing. Long term play. Mm. You know, if you're going to settle down with this woman for the rest of your life, it can't just be a Facebook thing or whatever you want to do. Instagram, good DMs, energy, the DMs. good vibes, and similarities of things you love to do. Mm. What do you like to do? Do you like to go to concerts? Do you like to listen to music? Do you like to go for a coffee? Do you like to go for nice, nice mm. walks? I'm an older guy. These are things I'm talking about now. For you, it's a little bit different. But even still, you could help me with this now. Like, I'm really in relationships. Like After like about three times, you get me, I get a bit bored. But there's been a few things where I could keep it going for a long time. Yeah. But how do you keep it spicy? Do you know what I'm trying to say? Especially, let's say you're broke and you ain't got no money. How do you keep it spicy? Then, you, then you're banging trouble. Oh, so you, you can't, you can't. You can't you know, recover from got, being broke. You've got, you got, you got to be successful these days. So there's no hope? There's always hope because you can always turn things around. Mm, I see, see. I'm, I'm really asking you this because last year I was signing on. So now. Good, you I'm looking now. I'm, exactly. Flying, I'm, I'm with you me. now. I'm exactly. Yeah, Big man sing. A lot of money coming my way now, Eddie. Now, let's get down to the serious stuff. Yeah? Boxing. I'm a big fan of boxing. I love boxing. And we got AJ versus Usyk coming real soon. Mm. And I'm looking forward to it. Yeah? Now. A lot of footage, we haven't seen a lot of footage in training camp. It's always like hush hush and stuff like that. So in the Ruiz rematch, mm. we saw that AJ went back to the motherland. He grew his hair out. Mm. He came out looking like Django, bro. Mm. It was mad and he did the thing. So what can you say on his, like update us on him right now? How's he's, he looking? He's been in Saudi for like four weeks. He's in a mm. great place. New trainer, Robert Garcia. Very aggressive. I think he's going to be in this fight. I think Usyk's going to be aggressive as well. Mm. I think he's going to come in heavy. He's going to be on the front foot. I think this fight will be over inside six rounds. I really six believe AJ's going to knock him out. So, okay, look, I'm glad you're saying this right now because I'm about to take my universal credit money. Put it on. Are you sure? Stick it on. How much? We're talking, it's only like about 320, brother. That's all right. I think you're going to get, you win. You might go for the AJ stoppage. I think you win a grand. Mm, I like that. Now, Usyk, he's also looking Serious. very big himself. Yeah. Like, I think he surprised a lot of people. Now, mm. in the last fight, I'm not going to lie to you, I bet on AJ to win in the first yeah. round. I put all the universal credit on oh. that. And honestly speaking, I think a lot of people were surprised. Yeah, he boxed what the they wrong saw. fight. He boxed the wrong fight. So were you surprised at what I you was, saw? but talking to him before, he was stubborn enough to think that was the way to fight Alexander Usyk. It wasn't. He's got to be aggressive. He's got to push him back. He's got to use his size. Mm. But Usyk looked big in this fight. I think Usyk's going to come forward as well. And I think this fight's going to be over inside six rounds. See, a lot of people say that they want to see the roadman AJ back there, the fire AJ. But... Like me personally, I feel like when you get to that the higher level, it's not as. But you can't, you know, it's very boxing is very difficult to maintain that animal in you when you've mm. changed your life so much. So it's got to be about competition. It's got to be about winning. Marvin Hagler said it's very different. It's very difficult to get up and do your runs in the morning when you're, you're wearing, wearing silk pajamas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So of course, true. Of course, it's hundred percent. They're the winners. 
Canelo Alvarez used to sell popsicles on the streets of Guadalajara. Mm. Now he's got hundreds of millions. So now is that the motivated? Fighter, yeah, of course. Special of course. people. AJ's the same fighter. So but he's just changed his style and you know, he's learned more. But you're right, we need that animal to come back in this fight. So would you say you're even expecting to see that? That's what you would we like need to, to see. see it. We need to see it. Mm. So look, you mentioned Marvin Hagler. Yeah? So I'm a big fan of 80s and 90s boxing. Like, I love Riddick Bowe. A lot of people mm. don't know about Riddick Bowe, Great but I love Riddick Bowe. Yeah, but I find that in this day and age, a lot of people seem to write people off when it comes down to the undefeated record. Now, all the greats, they had losses. Ali had about five or six. Mm. Um, Lennox, yeah, more. Lennox, about two. Mm. Like, a lot of the greats have, have, have lost. So would you, what would you say that... Would you say that the whole undefeated thing yeah, sort of puts a stain then, on you know, boxing? At the end of the day, if you're in great fights, you're going to lose. Mm -hmm. If you're fighting pound for pound greats, you're going to lose. Lennox Lewis... Great fighter. 100%. Never really chose to fight a lot of those fighters in their prime. Or it mm, never played out like that. Mad, Mike Tyson, great example. Riddick Bowe was a great fighter. Beat our heavyweight Herbie Hyde. But he threw, he threw the belt away. He didn't want to fight. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. But he had great fights with Vander Holyfield. I mean, Holyfield, for me, was Amazing. actually one of the great heavyweights. He's, he's my favorite. The favorite. Champ came up. Probably one of the best chins yeah, you'll ever see. All time. But, you know, if you're fighting greats, you're going to get beat. Canelo Alvarez lost a bivol, tried to be great, Amazing went up too fight. heavy, come back, you know, it's just what happens, don't worry. I like that. I, like, I, think, I think that's a good message to send because Absolutely. I feel like I don't like the Boring idea. Otherwise. I don't like the idea of people really protecting the O. I 100%. feel like the O, you end up getting a lot of like, protection and I don't feel you get the best out of people. I think also you also need to give people a chance at redemption. It's a good thing. 100%. Now we've also got Conor Ben versus Chris Eubank Jr. That's going to be an fight. amazing this one. Now I'm not going to lie, I saw Conor Ben and I said, whoa, he's actually, like, I, I didn't think that he was that wham, but then I saw Chris, and Chris is tall. Yeah, it's a weight disadvantage for Conor Ben, mm -hmm. but don't forget Eubank's got to come down in weight. That's going to hurt him as well. Mm -hmm. Eubank thinks he's going to walk straight through Conor Ben. I'm not so sure. You know, I think this is a ballsy move by Conor Ben, one of the biggest fights of 100%, our generation. 100%. They're both going to make a fortune, which is important in of this course, tough sport. Of course, 100%. And uh, this fight appeals across so many different generations, you know, the 40 pluses the 60 pluses, the 80 mm -hmm. pluses, but also the youngsters as well who follow these two young men now. See, on that, what you just said there, I think this is a good way to go with it. So we already know that they're the sons of mm. legends. Mm. So growing up, who was your type of guy? Nigel Ben or well, Chris Well, my dad Eubank? promoted Chris Eubank yeah. and like, you know, he was almost like a hero to me. So I was 100% team Eubank mm -hmm. and now I'm team Ben. You know what I mean? I've switched camp. Nigel Ben, always like, as much as I loved Eubank, mm -hmm. couldn't help but love Nigel Ben. Of course, he's he was a warrior. A bad warrior. Man. You yeah, know what I mean? You look at the Gerald McClellan fight, like he was, and Connor's That's, got the yeah. same thing in him. That's why this fight is going to be so good because he will set about Chris Eubank, mm -hmm. and I believe he's going to be. I heard that before those fights, Ben didn't used to bathe. No. He used to go in there smelling like bulls, bruv. It's, it's a bit mad. It would be just, I couldn't do that, bruv. I'd have yeah. to leave. Yeah, now, if I was to put the Universal credit money on that fight, who I think, should we, I go I think for? we go for Connor Ben on points. Hmm. Connor Ben on points. Yeah. A lot of people think that is, he's more of a KO kind of yeah, guy. Yeah, he is, but Eubank's got a great chin. Mm -hmm. Great chin. Oh, that's an interesting. See, Eddie, I feel like you're I think Connor Ben's going to outbox him. I think you're going to lose me a lot of money right now. There you're you talking go. very no reckless one. right now. I'm going to have to come back to you. It's going to be all the bailiffs out of my house. I'm go. telling you, I'm just serious. So now, this is another one, a potential great matchup Jake Paul versus KSI. So what do you think about that? I, I love KSI. I've worked with him on the Logan Paul fight. He's a mm. genius. But he gets beat against uh, Jake Paul because Jake Paul's not bad. And he's been boxing now for three or four years. Although KSI looks in good shape. Got a fight coming up. Let's see what happens on the zone at the end mm. of April. Big man thing. Shout out to KSI. He's talked about a lot of my videos. I like that. But now with Jake Paul, I've seen him talking a lot of shit, man. He's, he kind of talked some shit about you and said that he would fight you. Looking at you right now, I kind of think you take him. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not very good, but nor is he. Give me 10 mil. So you, we'll don't think, you don't think Jake Paul is very good? Not really, no. Okay, now I need to dive into this because I'm like, this is for the casuals. That's why we're trying yeah, to do this. Okay. For the casuals, a lot of casuals think that Jake Paul All is All I said shit. was, he's an average fighter, right? There's nothing wrong. There's a lot of average fighters. 95% mm -hmm. of fighters are average, but he's not very good. He's not terrible. He's somewhere in the middle. For a YouTuber, mm -hmm. he's a very good fighter, but as a pro fighter... You think he gets smoked? Yes. Easily? Yes. Mm. By, by a decent level pro. Okay, I, I'm glad you said that because a lot of people are convinced. Now, Tyson Fury's made some comments about fighting Chisora for mm. the third time. Now, honestly speaking, I don't, like, I'll be real, like, that's, I feel like he's beating him up twice. Like, I don't want to see Derek Chisora get bust up. Like, that's mad. Yeah. What do you think about it? Or do you I think don't he's know. just I think he shit? just does that because AJ's about to fight. 
Mm. So he wants to get this publicity for some reason. I don't really understand why. Mm -hmm. But every time AJ does fight, he, he steps up and starts talking all this stuff. Apparently today he's announced he's retiring again. So don't worry about Tyson Fury. Focus on AJ next week. Big man thing. So this is what I want to ask you in closing questions, Eddie. This is what I want to ask you, yeah? So a lot of people, like I said, there's the casual for the casuals. Mm. A lot of people wanted to know, why is Saudi Arabia for such a big fight? So can you give them some more information on the future and what that holds yeah, for them? Look, that, that part of the world are investing a lot of money into boxing. Mm -hmm. They want to change the face of the country. Mm -hmm. They want to change the thoughts of the country. They want to change the mindset of people about their country. And they want to use sport to showcase the change. Of course. They're investing in grassroots boxing. They're paying the fighters a lot of money, which mm -hmm. ultimately is of course, what it comes yeah, down to 100%. as well. And, and you're going to see a lot of big fights out in the Middle East. I love that. And then before we go on, on that note, also I know that Ramla Ali is she will boxing fight. And the first female to fight. Can so. you tell the impact of that? What Huge. Is that? I mean, Ramla's a you know a, a trailblazer anyway, mm -hmm. but you know going to be boxing over there, female fight on the card over there for the first time. It's a great moment for women's boxing, mm -hmm. and uh, long may it continue. Big man saying, now before we go, Eddie, I just want you to look at that camera and say, that's tough, is out now on all digital platforms, okay. Brev. That's tough, is out now on all digital platforms. We've got to give them the Brev. Brav. Big man saying, it's looking good, Brev. Me and Eddie Hearn, big man saying, shout out to your baby mums. Big man saying. Interesting. Yeah, there's some, them some, interesting. There was some questions we might have to cut out there, but uh, yeah, all different in the name of boxing. Big man singer, yeah, I was gassed, I'm not gonna lie, yeah. Like, out of all the people that I could have spoken to, that's the main person I ever wanted to speak to, Eddie Hearn, bruv. I'm gonna leave here, bruv, and invest in some cryptos, bruv. Bitcoins or whatever they call them, bruv. I'm still baffled. I don't really know what took place there, but I hope you enjoy. I was super gassed about the AJ Usyk fight, bruv, and the fact that he said, ending in six rounds, that's a mad thing. I'm about to take everything that I've got right now, bruv. You see all my rings, bruv, but we're about to go, bruv. Might be a payday loan thing, bruv. Bet everything on what he said, bruv, because he knows what he's chatting about. Big man thing, yeah. We started with Eddie Hearn, bruv, so we can't be having no waste mans on my thing, bruv. You get me? I have to have proper people, bruv. So there's a lot to come, bruv. A lot in stock, bruv. It's about to be a big thing. That that man come with a bag of chat, not me. I put it in motion. Came back, wrestle fools. Carty's got girl open. Can't wipe them. It's like